Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request we have from Brockwell Lane. Hey Cap, how about recreating an incident of a privately owned Cessna? I bet it's not that easy to spot or even get low enough to get alongside in something like an F-16. I believe there are some real life tricks the jet will use in order to establish contact with a civilian pilot not responding to ATC. I would love to see you and RC demonstrate these and then go boom boom to satisfy the valued viewers. Brockwell Lane is obviously a valued viewer because he knows our techniques already. And I bet this must happen all the time, right? There must be loads and loads and loads and loads of military bases. There must be loads of civilian light aircraft that lose their radio, just lose where they are, lose track of where they are, get confused, that just go in. I'm sure this happens every day somewhere. And they will have to be intercepted just to make sure they're not stacked with explosive or something. So you've got to scramble a Eurofighter or an F-16 out, right? Sure. Brilliant. Um, <laughs> thanks, thanks for the uh, thanks for, thanks for the input. Sure, there. sure. From the perspective of a 120 knot general aviation airplane, the F-16 shows up all at once. The wing wag, in turn, mean follow me. If a GA pilot doesn't change course, the fighter pilot's tactics become more insistent. So you've got to come alongside me. I'll be in Cessna first of all. Back all your wings, and then after that, you've got to become quote more insistent. Unquote. You will be fully loaded up because you never know. I could be a terrorist about to bomb your ATC. How do you feel about yes, that, Arcee? That I feel sad about that. We've looked up the average cruising speed of the Cessna 172, 226 kilometers per hour. Al Dafra Air Force Base is about to come under attack from a wayward pensioner who is in this Cessna. And we're going to go and intercept them. I'm Harrison Ford. I've got too much money and I've gone a bit crazy. Look, look at my Swiss uh, Belgian leather I've got. In the interior nice. of my it's a lovely aeroplane. I've got my family. I've got the Ford family in here. Of course, we've all got our COVID masks on. You're going to come and intercept me. Now, it doesn't mean to shoot me down. It means you've got to do it realistically, Arzi. You did training like this when you were in the Air Force, didn't you? Ooh, this is a bit... In the Air Force? Uh, when were you training for your Cessna? You mean chase people down? Well, you you had to know what would happen if you became a wayward pitcher. Oh, yeah. Which is what you are, by the way. If you got into a... There you go, you see? The wrong airspace, yeah, you Oh my god, it's got, it's got uh, con not con trails, it's got vapor trails on the wings at 120 knots. Okay, um, Mrs. Ford, um, how did you like me in Star Wars and uh, The Fugitive? Uh, other such conversations happen as, if you look left, you can see um, some of my fellow Californians. He's in California, I think, isn't he, guys? Wait, let me just check my speedo to make sure I'm not speeding. Yes, that looks fine. You're taking off your RC. I'm literally yep. going to bomb your base I, for all you know. You know, I had to get to the runway. There's. I see you. If I took it off from the taxiway, people would come after me. The Ford family is like, Harrison, Harrison, isn't that the military jet taking off? And I'm going to squ squint my lovely Harrison eyes and say, no, no, don't worry about that, Martha. That's a sky crane. That's a bird. Oh, I should show you my uh, fancy livery as well, my Harrison Ford livery. I am a true patriot. Oh, this Cessna has got retractable landing gear. Amazing. I didn't think any of it ever. Uh-oh. Yeah, the, 210, the P210 is uh, pressurized. So really? Uh, wow. How exciting. Yeah. Oh, and then you've got to intercept me. Oh, I, I would... am. I'm looking. I mean, I've got the visibility. I'm not allowed to look outside, so I'm just looking through where I normally look. Oh, you, I don't see you. You've been a lot of black exhaust behind you. Yeah, well, you it's very pollutive. I accidentally. <laughs> Harrison's getting old, and he put some diesel in by accident. Hence why we were straight oh, offline. that's not going to come out. That's not going to end well. You know what? You've made no effort to intercept so far. I've not seen you I once. am. I'm right behind you. Well, how am I going to say? I'm in a Cessna RC. What am I going to do? Press the F2 button. You've got to come and do it realistically, I said. Well, I know, I but I got to get slow enough to get All to right, you. All right, fine. You've got you, you to just be patient. Really, you can't get slow enough. You can't get slow enough, RC. Well, now you're starting to discover the problems. <laughs> Look at the bless his little cotton socks. He's yeah. trying so hard. It's not easy. That F-16 no. there is not designed to fly this slow. I'm about 140 right now. I'm just yep. about to fall out of the sky. Okay, well, I'm just looking around to see if I'm going to see you. La, 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 la. Okay, Mr. Ford, you need to get out of here. Oh, my goodness. Land Grace. immediately. It <laughs> looks so stupid. <laughs> it's just dropping. Oh, it's going to look stupid when there's a missile in your butt. Go on and give us a wing waggle. Give us a wing waggle. I can barely do oh, that. Oh, he's losing a wing. Grace, he's falling out of the sky. Does that mean he's not trying to guide us? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Gracie. Ah. You actually did better than I thought you were going to do, RC. 
can't go that slow in this. Oh, okay, there you go. About 140 to 150 is what I could do. Right, okay, well, I, we're gonna treat that as a failure because we think the F-16 was just showing off. We didn't really think it had a serious message. We're gonna reverse it now, RC. So RC did the senior citizen version. Supercat, gonna do the Supercat version. I'm young, I'm Grumpmeister. There's a the Cessna coming. Let's do this, S. This is how you intercept a freaking Cessna. Oh, I see why you're saying 220, because it's... <laughs> yes, I'll see. Can I help Got you, it. Because you're actually an SU-33. In fact, you know right. how much that Cessna <laughs> weighs, according to DCS. 47,500 pounds. That's a heavy Cessna. Right, I'm following all, st ooh, all standard US procedures for Cessna interception. That means six AMRAMs, two bags, maximum fuel, maximum guns. That's probably the problem. Probably should have dumped. Some of those you thought, just taxpayers' money, though, RC. You're gonna waste taxpayers' money on a Cess on Harrison Ford? Maybe you are. He pays a lot. Of well, tax. why do I have tanks if I'm just intercepting local? Because that's what they had. That's what they had. They weren't preparing for they? they weren't preparing for battle Cessna to come, were they, RC? Right, here we come. Anyway, anyway, enough of your jibber jabber, RC. Here I come. Let's do this. I'm young. I'm American. I'm patriotic, and I'm very, 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 very aggressive. There he is. Here we have to display. Hello. This is a Block 52. Radar lock acquired. Right, let's go in, air brake on. Let's go and see what problems he may cause us. Right, you're not allowed to look F2, you've got to look through the windows, you realistically would. I see you. No. I just saw you go to the right. Well, I'm already doing very well there, that means. I can hear you. You can hear me? Yeah. Well, here I come, RC. Yep, there is a problem with flying slow. There is a real problem with flying slow. Come on, Cap, why don't you catch me already? I'm doing it. Come on. Okay, right. That was just a warm-up. Oh, you just dropped your bag? Nope. Oh, I saw that. That was a warm-up pass. I saw that. We're going round again. Uh -huh. <laughs> going round again. A little heavier than we thought it uh, might be. Harrison, pull over. That. Oh, my God. Just out of my window, I saw two things falling saw, out of the sky. Well, we talked about your eyesight, haven't we? Uh-huh. I need to get this thing lighter, I'll say. There is no doubt about right, it. Drop the bomb on the airfield yes, now. Yeah, quite. All right, where are you? Okay, I'm coming. I'm shooting my Luger at the airfield. <laughs> Those bullets are literally <laughs> bouncing off the glass windows. This is harder than it looks, Valley viewers. It's not going as well as I thought. Much harder than I thought. I'm trying to get the plane light. I've got my cannery off so I can wave at him. Okay, here we go, Valley viewers. Much harder than I thought. This thing doesn't slow down. It's all power and no trousers. Intercept inbound. I recall, I think right now I'm driving beside you. No, I don't know. What's, right, what speed are you at, RC? 220. Good, that's what I asked you. Ah. I hear something, but Why I don't see anything. Ah, push, push, push the left 16. Grim Reaper's intercept. Oh, this is so sexy. Uh, officer, well, I mean, whoever you are, young private citizen, you're in airbase, you're I in breach. I don't see you. I'm oh, there you are. Coming. You're in <laughs> breach aircraft placement. All you need to do is slow down and you're... <laughs> History. I can't fly a high alpha and talk. It's simply not possible to do. <laughs> no one in the world can do it. There we go. 121 knots with full fuel. Sir! Sir, you've got to you do what I said. You've got to do what I said. Right. I'm going to... look like you have problems over there. Mm, I'm going to go to the next... Are you your canopy? Mm, I'm going to go to the next... We're trying to save weight. I'm going to go to the next regime. Fire guns. Sir, I'm firing. He probably thinks I'm just farting. Why won't this thing go yeah. higher? Slower, it's stupid. Oh, I think you're, I guess you're done with me. You're way down there. No, All right. right, thanks. Have a good day. Okay, well, we need a bit more, a bit more of an aggressive technique here. Up nice and close. Right. right up his chuff. Oh, no, it's falling out the sky. That's okay. That's okay. Right, power on. More speed and power required here, I think. Let's try for a bit of dogfight scissors. There we go. There it is. 80 knots on the nose. I'm right into my crosshair here. Harrison! Harrison! Uh oh. Harrison! Right, we're gonna give him a headbutt here. I hear me, but I don't see anything. We're gonna give him a headbutt. Harrison, Harrison, Harrison! Oh, my flares aren't working. Hi. God damn it. Nothing ever works when you need it to. Look, my family is getting an air show from this. <laughs> yeah, the, the, Har the Harrison Ford family is getting a free air show at taxpayers' expense. Right, we need something more aggressive. We are going in military style now. Why doesn't this thing turn around? Literally can't see you anywhere. I know you're over there somewhere. Uh-oh. I haven't changed any direction. Right, here we so go. Anything. You haven't changed anything. Pretty sure you're trying to evade capture. 
Harrison are coming. But the next stage is what we in the Air Force call a headbutt. Standby for headbutt. If that doesn't work, we're going to the rifle. Pull over! Pull over! Oh. You see that? Sexy. No course deviation very, very noted. Good. Poor old Harrison, he's very getting very old. We're going to the rifle. I had a Jetson my million dollar AMRAMs because it was impossible to fly with them. But I'll take that up with the uh, I'll take that up with the, the boss. Sweet! Guns on a 20, 120 knot. Oh, oh. Stop talking to Cap. God damn alpha limiter! Please! Please! Why did he do that? Why did he do that? It's because it's full of fuel. It's the most expensive intercept known to man. Jesus Christ! Well, did you crash? Nope. No, you crashed. What do you mean? It's I all right. I'm gonna keep flying. You can, you just flying. Get, it's impossible. As all soon right. as you get below 200 I knots with full fuel, it might as well just be throwing a rock into the air. It doesn't do anything <laughs> other than that. Okay, valued viewers. So for our third and final attempt, we have been a bit more sensible. We've prepared a F-16 exactly for this task. We put very little gas in it to make it nice and light. The lighter we are, then the slower we can fly, and just two AMRAMs. We think we can take a Cessna down with only two AMRAMs. First thing you'll note, value viewers, it's incredibly difficult to spot a Cessna. I know he's out. Oh, look, radar found him by accident. Right. I'm not sure I actually would have been able to spot him. It's so small in the silhouette. There he is. Merge. Don't lose. See you. Don't lose the visual. Oh, this is more like how an F-16 flies. This is much nicer. All right. May get a little bit violent. Oh my god! Uh, uh, there's a problem. Uh, there's now you've gone and wrecked us both. I'll say, you happy with that? I'll use my ejection seat. What are you going to use? She told she's telling me to eject, but I can't. <laughs> no ejection seat in Cessna. Down you go, RC. Down you go. <laughs> Slowest, most boring crash in history. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. Right, let's try that one again. We had a small, small, minor problem. Up we go again. I guess I hit you again. I guess you keep hitting me. You know what? These young American F-16 pilots are very aggressive on their, inter on their intercepts, aren't they? Intercepts are hard. Really hard. Well, when you're trying to intercept a slow plane. I'm having a problem with my gauges. Yeah, they're just a bit. They're just a bit. They're a bit dirty, is all I'll say. Otherwise, the gauges are working okay. perfectly. I think you're fine. Okay. I did check that airframe out before giving it to you. Right, I'll see. Here's more like it. You care to peek over your right window? You'll see a beautiful. Uh, see yes, you do, and I can see you. Perfect formation flying. 120 knots, 20 million degrees angle of attack. Sir, you're flying over the airbase. Sir, you're flying over the airbase. This is a bad place for Harrison Ford to be. Please turn around, see? See? You can see exactly what I mean this time. Okay, make a turn out of danger, I'll see. There it is, sweet, straight into the massive military jet. Why not? And I'm gonna show him off now, valued viewers. And finally. Uh, I'm not big, I'm not sure, I'm gonna yeah. stay over the airfield. Screw you. Finally, for the bit, you're staying over the airport. Yeah, He's trying. disagreeing, right? There's only one guy, to, there's only one thing to do, valued viewers. We're going to the rifle, much more nimble with all that fuel out, valued viewers. Got my Ruger out the window. Half the wing loading. He's got his Ruger, a level two gun sight. Wasn't designed for Cessnas, can be used on Cessnas. Oh, oh. Ho, ho, damage model. That sucks up a oh. lot of 20 mic, mic, doesn't it? I'm all right, still flying, shoot my Ruger. Oh, that's a problem. You think that's gonna be a problem for you? I'm sorry, Harrison yeah. Ford uh, and Grace Ford, but it had to be done, you were intercepting. Aggressive young American pilot be like, to space and beyond.